Fresh from his attempts to have the Pope arrested, author and evolutionary biologist Richard Dawkins announced his latest book, The Odin Delusion, to coincide with the first trailer of Marvel's upcoming Thor movie. Norse mythology is a belief system that has all but died out, but now it's creeping back into the mainstream in the form of flashy superhero stories, Dawkins told the press. We can see this coming from most religions, from Wolverine practicing Buddhism to the Thing getting his bar mitzvah, he warns. Dawkins, who popularized the gene-centered view of evolution and coined the term meme, is one of the world's most outspoken atheists. Having tirelessly rebuked religion, superstition, and creationism for most of his life, Dawkins now sets his sights on comic book culture. Take the new Thor movie. Thor is an arrogant yet handsome bad boy cast out of Asgard by his elders. Banished to Earth, Thor must save the day by defeating demons and fire-spewing robots, Dawkins continues. Thor, need I remind you, was the Norse god of thunder and storms, Dawkins clarifies. The film sounds like brainless fun, but here's the danger. If superhero movies with gods as protagonists become popular, then religions and their deities will become acceptable and even trendy. Religions are controlling institutions built upon fallacies. We need to be suspicious of them, Dawkins stresses. But films like Thor will make young viewers associate religion with bravery and heroism. Millions of people may be drawn to religions by delusions of adventure and supermen brought on by Marvel. Giving Superman godlike powers is fair enough, but turning gods into superheroes is going too far, Dawkins concludes. Dawkins' latest book, which addresses the increasing prevalence of religious figures in comic book media, is a decidedly different approach to criticizing religion. The Odin Delusion will be available in all good bookstores from March 2011.